live from the Isle of Catalina in Orlando, Florida, it's The Murr Show, starring Sean Murray. Music tonight by Eric Ruck. And me, your announcer, the noise of the north, Dano the Mano. Tonight's special guest, Gravity Games champion, Trevor Hansen. And a two-time, two-time World Wake Skate champion, Reed Hansen. Working all three, that's right, three cameras. If the batteries last long enough on the one that doesn't have a power cord, is Colin Harrington. And in the live studio audience, Jimmy Lurich. And now your host, the House of Style, Sean Murray. Hey, 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 how you doing, how you doing? We are here live in Eric Ruck Studios. What do you call your studios? I don't really have a name for Eric it. Eric Ruck Studios. I just call it the gym. Right on, right on, here we are. Folks, I'm your host, Sean Murray. We're changing things up tonight. It's been a long time since we've been on the internet, Eric. It's good to be back. Very good, Murray, So looking yes. forward to a fun evening. We've got a lot of things to talk about. Uh, haps, uh, up-to-date things. There you go, he's bringing it down a little bit. So what we wanna do is, uh, we wanna talk just a little bit about our setup. We're, we're going a little Oprah here tonight. No Make desk. The, the new Jay Leno is what we're calling it. The, the Instead of the desk, we're changing up. We're going uh, comfortable style and- uh, It's more personal, Mur Dano, uh, the man who is gonna be on the computer here Back next to house. me. And uh, what you're gonna do, Dano, is you're gonna be uh, on Stoke Meter live. All um, right. And so you can be fielding questions. Which I will do. do. For you. And we're gonna be having a good and time here. We're gonna really try to interact with you guys. Be uh, be be talking to you, answering questions, and uh, and talking about some fun subjects, some serious subjects, serious. and uh, and uh, some in between. Right on. Hey, uh, that brings us to our uh, to our first guest. Actually, we were talking tonight. Should we just bring them both on at the same time and just get get into it and uh, instead of going one at a time? Do you want to bring two guests on at once? Yeah. We, Why we, not? We, we discussed it. We never came up with a final decision. So go ahead, Dano. They're brothers. Do your thing. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, joining us now in the studios from Groveland to Florida. That's right. It's the brothers Hanson, Reed and Trevor. Make some noise. Hoot hoot on the internet. On the internet. That's where I stand up and say hello. Hello. Good to see you. Great to see you. It's good to have you. What's happening? Hey, good to have you guys. Now you can go uh, hand handheld. Um, Welcome to the going, show. We're going handheld. Now, now the the unfortunate thing is we've had some budget up, cuts PG? here uh, on on the Mer show. Um, the budget doesn't exist, and so we're short of mic. So you guys can share a mic. You can kind of lean close to your brothers. It's not yeah, uncomfortable brothers for you. Um, normally we would set a timer but we're really not gonna do that because uh, you guys are both here and it's just time to talk. Dano, what are some questions? You chime in whenever you want. All right, well, um, I don't know when you're planning on dealing with this one or if you were at all, but uh, folks are wondering, let me see here. Hey, they're wondering if they can sing like the other Hanson brothers. Um, I, you know, I'm, I'm surprised it's actually taken this long to get into it. Um, and Reed and I have been talking about the title, The Hanson Brothers, and uh, they actually, Trevor and Reed pulled me aside earlier, and they're like, look, you know, we don't know how to approach this, but can we sing the song? <laughs> and I said, just go right into it whenever you guys feel comfortable. So I'd say now um, is, is as good a time as any. Do we have a screen with some lyrics? Um, just wing it. Just wing it. Huh? <laughs> this song. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm not paying attention to anything you were just saying. Well, <laughs> let me let me let me just respond by saying this: is that we're we're actually missing our third member, so it just wouldn't be the same for us okay. to sing it without. Do you guys the third feel? Member. Do you feel? Colin sort of looks like a Hanson brother. Oh, I just got it. Zoom it up, I do, I do, I do, I do. 
Is that how it goes? Something about a purple monster. I don't know the lyrics. I only know the I don't know part. it. I don't know it. Ruck, you just keep that going for a while. <laughs> now, here's the thing. I'm, I'm guessing that the, the, are the other Hanson brothers older? And here's the thing. Because now that you're sitting here, I called those Hanson brothers the other Hanson brothers. And uh, I don't know who gets the title of Hanson brothers. Either more titles won or more albums sold. Because one's yeah, got to be know. the Hanson Brothers and one has to be the other Hanson Brothers. Because... I think who's older? Who's older? Okay. And who is older? Okay. If somebody on, on the internet could go and Google that think, real I fast, the Hanson Brothers ages. The Hanson Brothers are I'm definitely pretty, I'm older. I'm pretty sure they're older. Okay. They would have to be. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they'd have well, to be. Well, we don't want to beat this one into the ground. Somebody says that Andy Hansen is the third member. I think it was beat to the game. <laughs> yes, brought it up. Andy Hansen is your band manager. He is the baritone. I he drives face. the tour bus. Hey, hey, check this out, Mer. <laughs> speaking of other blasts from the past, is check this song out. Uh, wait. I get knocked down. But I get up again. You're never gonna keep me down. I, I get, get knocked down. down. But I get up again. You're never gonna keep me down. I get knocked down. But I get up again. You're never gonna keep me down. I get knocked down. But I get up again. You're never gonna keep me down. Yeah. Let's try and hit the boss side up. That was incredible. Right on. Good jam. Ad lib. All right, now what, back to what you guys were saying. Yeah, sorry. Actually, I've got a question. I've never seen the Mer show, but is this what happens the whole time? Generally, um, generally. Okay. Yeah, Just I mean, it's kind of well, nonsensical. Okay. okay. But that's kind of what we try to uh, revolve around. I'm just making sure that it's a right uh, spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, it's something that somebody was pointing out before the show is plaid. Um, uh, my buddy Trevor Ward, I don't know if you're at home watching right now. Give me a hoot hoot. But uh, he said that the Olympic U.S. snowboard team, this is pretty much their official outfit, I heard. I, I, d I haven't caught any yet. Congratulations, yes, Sean White. Yes, but it's red. But it's a red flannel. Okay, that's cool. More so lumberjack. But it seems like... Uh, this is more Seattle. It seems red like is, you and Reed are on the same team right now. Well, we are technically. Yes. But Trevor almost wore a flannel. Oh, that exactly. And uh, but I've Jimmy's really been into flannels flannel. lately. Well, Trev actually came out dressed to be on my team today. Okay. I like the, uh, you know, the... Uh, the tie-dye. The tie-dye. It's, it's half tie-dye, half black. It's, it's, it's party yet business. It's whatever you want it to be. Um, no, Reed, I'm pretty happy with the, with the Fox selection of flannels this year. You know, I, I haven't worn flannels in a long time. Wore them a lot in high school. Jimmy is in the live studio audience with one. If you want to do a model walkthrough real quick. Jimmy's really been holding flannels down lately. I got to say, I've, he I've wears a lot of flannels. I've Look. worn a flannel every day for the past eight days straight. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not trying to rub it in, but I'm just that's just what I, I got a quick a I got a quick I thing here. Like it in. Talking about flannels, flannel material. Yes. Um, a lot of folks are really I'm interested hot. in the material oh. of the wall hanging rug that Ruck has up on a his tapa wall. It's a tapestry. Well, it is a tapestry, and uh, what material? It could be cotton. It it's could 50 be silk, uh, fifty percent silk, fifty percent polyester. It's a polyester silk. blend. Silk, it's a poly polyester. It's a poly blend. It could be whatever you want it to be. <laughs> Jimmy, people want you to model right. real quick. Hey, Hanson Brothers. If, if you guys don't know, um, let's talk history. Talking about back in the day. Rock, if you can come up with a jam, um, maybe uh, Cult of Personality uh, by Living Color. <laughs> If you I, can I don't know. I don't no, know. No, you work about on that. that. I want to talk to these guys. Okay. I didn't know this was a musical. <laughs> yeah, totally. Oh, it's, yeah. It is. No. It's kind of like a high school musical, but for elderly folks. <laughs> um, so I started wakeboarding eons ago and uh, came down to Florida to work at the Benzel Skiing Center, which at the time, pretty much the same time that I moved down, your dad was in the process of taking ownership of the Benzel Skiing Center. Correct? That is that's as correct. In, as in Tara Benzel, David Benzel, mm -hmm. Cindy Benzel, other brother. Uh, the Benzels. <laughs> what's the <laughs> brother's name? I knew him. He's a good kid. Yeah, you're Baseball, Tyler. Tyler. Tyler Benzel. Nailed it. 
And uh, and so you guys were uh, were were kids there. I was 19, 18, 18 when I came down, and you guys were Groms. Reed was a little Grom, like just little Grom, and now towering over me. And uh, Trevor was a little Grom, kind of into wakeboarding. You guys are kind of doing your thing. And uh, look at you now. <laughs> Here on the couch I'm on the so, Murr Show. I'm so proud of you guys. It's great, you know? Success is a family. It's awesome. Now now the World Wakeboard Center. Yep. You know? Yep, hands is WWC. Is your dad watching right now? Uh, no, I don't think so. They they can't. They're on a... Dial-up? Well, no, they're not on dial-up, but they have this crazy web streaming restriction where they get charged like a million dollars to That's a stream. Lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Wow, you really got to want to get on the internet for Hit that. Hit that Powerball. Hey, I got a question here. This one yeah, keeps coming in, Do and it. we're already on the subject yeah, yeah, of yeah. Um, wake schools. Yes. It says, I'm coming down to... This is from Adam. Adam from I'm not sure where, but... I'm coming down to Orlando from uh, Canada for the first time as an intermediate rider. Yes. Is it worth spending more money on the projects every day or going back and forth from OWC and the projects? That's a great question. Wow. Um, you know, that's, that's, that is a difficult question. Um, and that's why I passed it off to these guys. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it depends on what you're trying to do. Yeah, the projects is pretty cool. There's a lot of stuff to do there. OWC is pretty cool. It's got the cable mm -hmm. and all that. Rails. You he just writes rails. He wrote rails. Yeah, there's there's a lot of rails at the projects. That's what they're known for. You know, it, you can look at it a couple different ways. For for sure, you get, like, good coaching at the projects. You're going to get good rails. Um, you got the 2.0. You got the 2.0, right? Um at, at O-Dub, you can just lap and lap and lap and be there all day and dial in stuff. Um, but at the same time, like, it's not just about going over and over and over again. You can only ride so long. Yep. So, Adam, I, I don't know. It, We've got enough people in here to do it, actually do a vote in the house right okay, now. Okay, okay. So. you got to pick one or the other. I really don't. I, it, I can't. I'll I can't say it right now. Mind. All right. Everyone in the house who's, who's up for uh, learning at the cable to Every hit rails, put your hand in the air. I, huh? I, I would go to the cable, too. I'd but go there, Dana, went the, there the two projects, days. Wait, you the say? projects has a cable. They got right. the 2.0s. The question oh. is, is yeah. uh, would you, hands in the air, no dub. would you, you rather to learn to, to ride uh, rails at the cable, or would you rather learn to ride rails? No, but that's not that's not You're right. question. OWC. Let me paraphrase because I don't want to spend too, too much time on this. And um, It's either go to both OW and the projects or solely the projects. Everyone, for solely the projects, raise your hand. But I'm back I'm back in the projects. I'm going to be going there actually next week. I'm going to see you guys at the projects. I'm going there next week. If you're going so there, I'm going to go there too. Really? Okay. When are you I'm, going? I'm, going, I'm also going to OWC. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna I wrote OW two days ago, so... Yeah, I'm gonna really be there cool. on the 20th for that uh, ride for release. Zingers, that they're yes. Doing. This, uh, hey guys, watch the show. Watch uh, coming up after the Murr show. We've got um, Sean O'Brien and his gang are gonna be coming on here talking about the ride for relief at Haiti uh, for Haiti. Oh, dude, I'm jamming there. And Ruck is gonna be jamming. Um, I'll be, I'm I'll gonna be, there. be dancing. <laughs> you bringing the synthesizer? I'm bringing the whole rig. And we're we're gonna be going there, and uh, we're going to bringing OWC. This Saturday, come and check it out. We're trying to raise oh, you some money. See? Like the power place? Yeah, we're going to go <laughs> hang out and like work in the power plant, Eric. I think you said oh, you see though. Yes. That's where we're going. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is awkward. Happy birthday, <laughs> Sean O'Brien. Orlando Utility. Today? Yeah, it yeah, is his birthday. I believe. Hey, happy and birthday. I, believe I saw that on Facebook. Birthday. Hey, um... Happy birthday, Sean O'Brien. This uh, Saturday, go to OWC. We're trying to raise money. Send it out to Haiti. Uh, they, they are definitely, what an uh, incredible situation those people are in right now. Um, wow. Wow. You know, yep. really, really lifting them up in our prayers. So, um, happy birthday, Sean O'Brien. Sean O'Brien, a pretty underrated rider. Let's talk about that. Extremely underrated. Reed, take my mic. Reed. 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 Let's Sean O'Brien is not the owner of Rodix. <laughs> <laughs> no. Let's see here. The gold mic. Maureen wants to hear the pineapple song. Um, you talk about pineapple. I don't Sean think I should be talking about Sean O'Brien. Uh, I'm not in the wakeboarding, no, as of the past couple years. <laughs> then, honestly, like, first time I saw Sean O'Brien ride, um, like, that really impressed me. He brought a, a, a DVD to Surf Expo, 
and showed he was doing an osmosis seven. He had osmosis five, handle pass to seven. This is years ago. I was like, wow, pretty good. And this kid boosts. He, I've seen him go huge off a little weight, big trick stuff. Your thoughts? The coolest thing about Sean O'Brien is you won't see him for months, maybe years, and then you'll see him and he's got something new. And Very a smile. Very impressive. And a, and a smile. And a smile. And a heart of gold. Heart hey, of gold. Sean. Yeah. Some people may say Sean O'Brien's amazing. The way I see it, he's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, Dan. Hey, we got one for uh, Reed. <laughs> yeah, Reed Hansen. Um, I am hot. And we and this is I'm surprised you didn't just straight up yes, come out are. with this question. Yeah. Uh, what's up with the hair? You lost it. You hey, don't. Hey, let's not. I mean, losing his hair. He's not losing hair. I'm losing my hair. That's different. <laughs> he cut I don't it off. Know. He cut it off. It'd be a. Yeah. Hey, hey. Speaking of speaking of. Hey, talk about your hair. Go. Uh, lack of hair? No, no. You shaved your head. What's yeah. up? Did you, uh, I was hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because that was exactly my explanation. Really? Yeah. You got tired of it. It was really hot one day, and it was uh, all dirty, and I didn't want to take a shower. So I shaved it. It was a really, let really me impulse let decision. Like, I'm just trying to just... I regret it a little bit. Really? A pretty Why? good bit. Why? Do you see my hair? Do, does your it, head man. feel I mean, super light right now? Uh, yeah, I feel does really good. Like 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 even to this like day, I'll get out of the like water <laughs> and I'll I'll do the, the girl whip back. And like yeah, when you get out of the hair. shower and yeah. stuff, you're just like, it's weird. Want to whip your hair around? Yeah. yeah. You, you know what's there. funny? It's you way faster in the shower, though, right? Yeah. You know what's funny is I think most of the people in this room can attribute to having long hair and then immediately shaving it off. That's true. That Rock, true. Dano, true. myself, true. Colin, Reed. Well, years ago, me. Yeah, here. Years ago, back in high school, I was shoulder rider. Not no mo. If I, I did now, I look like Gallagher. I remember when you grew it out one uh, a couple years ago. That was Not more a couple. Yeah, that was yeah, a couple. That's cool. That's cool. Hey, speaking of head trauma, <laughs> look at this thing. Can you see this? Get a close up on that. What is that? Just banged my. Can you see it? That's head trauma. G Nunny and I were doing a stunt two days ago, and. Uh, we were doing a stunt where one person goes upside down and you're kind of holding each other and trying to do a two-man cartwheel so you can keep going like a circus act. And so I said, here we go, Jerry, one, two, three, and we, and we went, and his legs collapsed, and his shoe went into my head, and then he sat on my head, and so it was like I got sneakered. You know like you get a sneaker to the, to the leg and it hurts and it burns? That was, that's my head. It's pretty awesome. All right, enough of that. Hey, Dano, questions, hit me. Um, I already have a question. I gave it to Reed through the computer. Justin asked, what's the difference between uh, asymmetrical and symmetrical wake skates? Ooh, I didn't know that was a subject. Talk yeah. to me. Well, asymmetrical meaning that one side is wider I mean, I know what the than the other. Sorry. I know. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm aware of what asymmetrical means. I tried to not be as sarcastic about that. Okay. <laughs> well, you're saying this like Justin should know. It's a stupid question. I know. I... No, I'm sorry. I didn't know that <laughs> wake skates were being made asymmetrically. Yes, like, since like, like 99. Right on. See, I'm not trying totally to be mad. <laughs> <I am. laughs> That's awesome. Okay, <laughs> buzzing. Okay, talk about it. asymmetrical wake skates. Uh, where, where are they different? Width in the tip and tail? Yes. Weight in the tip and tail? A little bit, I think. Because of the size? Yes. Okay. I got um, something for you. Rocker? Maybe. I don't have an asymmetrical wake skate, so yeah, I don't know as much about Those it. are lame. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Since 99, they've been lame. <laughs> Didn't you have an asymmetrical wakeboard? I did. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that it's not lame. <laughs> it's just wake skates are lame if they're asymmetrical. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> no, hey, honestly, okay, just for the record, I used to wake skate. I got broke off. Didn't you do the first finger flip? I did the first finger flip. Because some people say that I did, but I tell them that you did. I did it. I did it. I did it at home, and then I did it at OWC. Um, I did the first 360. And I think I made Scott Ireland man. He was out with us. Yeah, we had a wake skate party at my house. I am tooting my own horn. I'm just going to stop that story. So you were at your house with Byerly, with Scott Byerly in the boat. The magazine, everybody. And you were shaking because Scott no, Byerly was in the I was, boat. I was riding. Doug Duquesne was in the tube shooting photos. So, Sean, what movies can we see you uh, oh, wake skating in? Yeah, back in the day. Yes, you did. What? Sorry, what? What videos can we see you wake skating in? 
Oh gosh, wake skating videos. Long time ago. I don't Six know. pack. Six pack. A little yeah, bit. That's probably the best wake skate. You can see me bust captured. a couple wake skate moves Ruck, and rewritten. Ruck is always known <laughs> for for busting out wake skate moves and rewritten. It's good to see. I like doing it, but I got broke off, man. I don't wake. I don't wake skate anymore. And one I foot on, one foot off. Yes. The the nasty Hello. splits. That's what I'm saying, right? Why does my knee crack every time? Yeah. It one does. foot on, one foot off. Yeah. Yeah. Bad. I know Bad the, news bears. But you stretch. You stretch. Um. I'm I'm not limber. Hey, so. That's true. I give I give mad props to wake skaters because you guys do some fancy stuff and read like the stuff you're doing. I'm gonna toot your own horn. Reach over. Hoot, hoot. The stuff you do is pretty impressive. Know what I mean? Thanks. <laughs> yeah. So nice here. of you. Yeah, for real. Okay, latest They're trick like that you just like. Okay, you might have some like secret tricks and stuff, but what's something you just did that you're like, nailed it? Like <laughs> drop the handle. I just built a mini ramp, and that was sick. For skateboarding. Oh, nice. But I'm talking about wake skate trick maneuver. Uh, I thought that was a pretty good trick. That was. Never done it before. It is a good feeling of accomplishment. How yeah. wide? How wide? Uh, it was actually, I just refurbished it. Okay. My friend gave it to me, and I just retopped it. Okay. You know. <laughs> okay, how many sheets did it take to, uh, good timing, Ruck. <laughs> how, many, how many sheets did it take to cover it? <gasps> uh, Length from side to side. I used a bunch of PVC that I cut up. So I don't know. It's probably 12 feet. 12 feet high. 12 feet, 12 feet wide. Wow. Right on. Waterproof wow. as well. Really? It's huh. fast. Did you ever do anything with all that cable I gave you? No, you but still I'm still planning somewhere? on it. What's that? I'm about to move into a new house. Yeah. As soon as I buy one. Yeah. As soon as I get some money. Yeah. So you want could it could be within a couple You want to know what I did? I sold it on Craigslist. 100 bucks. 100? 100 bucks? 100? Bucks. But I was gonna build a huge cable system out of it. Did it die? Are we offline? No. Oh, I don't know. I think we're still live. Uh oh. I'm gonna build a cable system. Cable park. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to call Trevor Ward. Let me do that. So, Dano, give us some questions. We're not really getting too many uh, questions, but a lot of just people talking. We got a lot of really good friends online this weekend. Um, Let's do a shout out. Everybody st and, and do all the names. All right. Well, so explain how that works and then do it. Just a shout out. Just straight up name everybody. All right. Because everybody, we don't want to make anybody feel left out at the Mer Show, do we? Nobody stands out. No. no. All right. So here we go with some names. We've got uh, Brotherhood84. We've got Fortenberry online. we got Johnny Z. We've got uh, Justin. We've got uh, The Real Dano. Uh, sissy, <laughs> <laughs> we've got. Um, let's see who else. Matt, Ian. Oh, your sister. We got Russ McD. <laughs> Russ McDonough, what's up, my man? You like that? How he said that? Russ McD. Yeah. 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 And uh, Will. Billy Park in the house. Yeah. Russ Jr. Gerard in the house. Emily. Yeah. Matt in the house. Yeah. <laughs> Gerardo. Yeah. What's our request? Frank that Paul is Watson a great again. idea. Oh, wait, we got one for Ruck. Yeah, he's in we got Australia. a question for what? Ruck. Sorry, Watson is in Australia, guys. Yeah. We got, two, we got two questions. We got one for Ruck and one for the boys. Yes. The question for Ruck is, what board are you riding these days? And the question for the boys is, what model Supras do you have, and how do you weigh them? Two great questions for Ruck. That first one's for Ruck. Yeah, well, I, I totally was spacing. I was thinking about the first question was right what now. board do you ride? Haven't picked one yet, man. Still just keeping my options open. Totally keeping my options open. But still a hyperlight. Well, yeah. I, I'm, I thought they meant uh, what uh, what model. As far as the Supra questions go, I ride the 24. SSV, and uh, I put a lot of weight in it. How much weight? There's probably around okay. I feel four where to five thousand pounds. Jimmy, if I had to guess, we're gonna prank call right Rusty. Now. Four to five thousand. What's what's the subject? Spread out probably that, uh, sixty in the back, and forty in the front. That could really get him. Interesting. Something in the neighborhood that people complain about. I didn't want to know. Hey, it looked like it looked like you wanted to know, Dano. You asked me the question. I am. I like it. 
Okay. Okay. Rook, I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need quiet here. Do I call the house? Okay. We're gonna need silence on the set. Hey, the number. What is that school called? We drive Chief past school. it every day. I bet he doesn't even know. He just makes up months. He's probably okay. He probably knows. He's probably just texting me. Principal McDonough. That's uh, that's fine. Do I call this house number right now? Is uh, is uh, Rusty uh, Malna Ma Malinowski? Is is he home? No, he's not submitting message. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, do you know where he is right now? Um, yeah, he's out with his friends. Okay. Hey, Lindsay. This is Sean. What's up? Sean. <laughs> 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 Sean Murray. What's up? Oh my God! You're scaring me. He's getting married to sleep right now. I'm like, who is this freak? Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, Lindsay. Lindsay, I need your cooperation. Don't let him know that it's me on the phone. And uh, just be like, hey, some guy sounds upset right now, and I need okay. you to talk to him. Are you guys doing the Murray show right now? Yes, <laughs> we are. So you can go watch it. Right. You, so you can go turn it on and just watch us. Okay, and so what am I supposed to do? Just go, just go be like, call? hey, you, you need to talk to this guy. He sounds upset. Okay. Hey, hey, Lindsay, what's the, what what what's the name of the school? What? What's the name of the elementary school up on the hill? Oh, I don't know. Okay, that's fine. Just make it up because he doesn't know either. Okay, perfect. Say, like... Tell him it's a Christian school. I don't know. Tell him it's called Long Longhouse Elementary. I'll figure it out. We live on Longhouse Road. Pine Pinehurst Elementary is fine. Perfect. Okay. I'll go get him. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank Uh, yes, is this, uh, is this Rusty? Yeah. Hey, Rusty, hi, my name is, uh, I'm Principal McDonough up at uh, Pinehurst Elementary up the street. Huh? And uh, listen, I've, I don't know why people are coming to me with their complaints, but for some reason they, they feel like I know you for some reason because of uh, the boat noise. And, and son, I, I apologize for calling this time of the night, but um, I just couldn't get a hold of you any other time of the day, and, and I just need to talk to you. We've got to work some things out. Um, you know, I just don't know if uh, if there's some we can get some kind of baffle system, if we can maybe build some kind of walls, or I don't know if we can get the boat because it is just sounding horrendous. I hear it up here on the hill at the elementary school, and, I, you know, honestly, I don't mind. I'm just the middleman, so please don't be upset with me. Okay, is there is there some we could work out? Maybe I could stop by and... Uh, Uh, well, s honestly, it's 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 kind of nearly every day. I mean, I realize you you boys are in training and stuff for your for your wakeboard and jump contest and stuff, but um, I I don't know. We got to work something out where we can just kind of, you know, I'm I'm not gonna ask you to leave or nothing, but maybe if you could get some kind of different boat. Like I got a I got a I got a fishing boat that doesn't make nearly the noise, but maybe you could go right behind that. I know it sounds funny, but it's pretty nice. Like honestly, my kids ride behind all the time. They love it. I don't know if you've seen well, this out there. As far as um, the fishing boat goes, that's not definitely not an option. But, Do we um, need to put like a tower or some kind of like a like a high pole or something? I'll yeah. split. I'll split the cost with <laughs> you. I'll split the cost with you. that way and then that way I won't be riding at nighttime, you know? Okay, well, um I tell you what, do you do you have like a jet ski or something you could ride behind? You guys have a jet ski, right? Yeah, I have a jet ski. Okay. I tell you what, if if you could ride behind that, um, you know, and because cause, may, cause you can still practice your jumps and stuff, right? Sorry? Can you still practice all your jumps and everything? Like well, it goes fast it goes plenty fast, right? 
No, yeah, not exactly, but um, what what do you guys think about just starting school in the evening? Um, yeah, that I don't think. Well, it's not the kids. Like I said, it's the, it's the people around the neighborhood. I got um, uh, Jed Clampett coming to me. I got Ernie McDugan. Um, a bunch of people, like high profile folks in the in the community, and they're coming to me and they're they're telling me that, you know, these boys are out there causing trouble and raising Cain and and I, gosh, I'm just in the middle of this whole thing. I'm just trying to make amends, you know. And I, that's why I'm offering my fishing boat. You know, maybe you guys ride me on your jet ski. I tell you what, if you don't mind me buying your jet ski, I would love to tear around on that thing. No, I don't have one. I was looking to borrow yours. Okay. Um, bring your fishing boat by then. Okay, okay. And then if we can, um, we can rig a system up, I'd love for that again that, um, during, uh, school hours. Okay. Um, hey, while I got you on the phone, we're looking for donations for the school. Because <laughs> we're, we're a public, publicly funded school, and, I mean... Shoot, I've seen some of the stickers on your board, and uh, and I know those those guys are doing pretty well. I mean, I'm not asking for anything big, not like in the tens of thousands, but maybe you know, hundred or, or a thousand bucks. If you're feeling generous, because the kids got to, they got to learn. Well, I'm actually just on um, on product with all my sponsors, so I ride for them for product. So maybe I could maybe I could hook you guys up with some product. But as far as funding goes, I. Oh, you know, it'd be brilliant. If we could get if we could get a few cases of Rockstar for the kids, I give those to the kids in the morning, and they just tear around, just tear around, and then I tell you what, they pass out, and I am off and clear, and I don't have to watch the kids the rest of the day. Yeah, that, that's no problem. I can definitely hook you guys up. Are you guys sugar-free or uh, regular? What, what do you guys prefer? Uh, whatever you want to do. Don't, don't matter to me, man. Hey, let me ask you, uh, Rusty, in, in two more weeks, um, are you going to be busy Thursday night at 9 o'clock? No, schedule's wide open. That's great. That's great. Okay, because I got some friends of mine. They're looking to maybe have you, uh, have you on a little bit of a show called the Mur Show. <laughs> Actually, Thursday night at nine, I have a function up at this local school. They do a, a little fundraiser. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Russ. Nice. <laughs> That's funny, Mary. Hey, hey, buddy. So we're at Rucks right now, and we figured we'd give you a little ring. Hey, no problem, man. Just uh, thanks for playing along, and yeah. uh, and and I'll be calling you later, and uh, and we'll see how we can work something out, buddy. Awesome. Have fun tonight. All right, later, man. See you guys. Well, there you have it. That was a uh, <laughs> that was an eventful phone call. I can't believe he only rides for product. Yeah, he only oh. rides for product. That is awesome. You should see how much Rockstar he has in his garage. <laughs> 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 wow. That was awesome. That was man. He really like. Watson really got his undies in a bundle compared to Russ. Russ is like, bring your bass boat by. We'll go and we'll figure it out. <laughs> that was good. People are loving it. The ratings are going up right now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's Mernis. Yes, yes. Hey, yes. Rock, what's up? It's AJ from Tennessee. Yo. Glad you guys are on. <laughs> hey, where, does Phil live in his new house? He does. Phil who? Seven. Oh. Phil, are you on right now? Let me know if you're if you're online. Is he is he in the country? Okay. We're gonna call Phil right now. <laughs> Thanks, Russ. Russ McDonough. I used your name. Thank you. Um, People want to see you guys do. Uh, what? Here, here's ben my plan. Greenwood next time. Okay. Well, what I'm trying to do is get the Rusty and Your Phil on, on the next too. show, um, and uh, and we'll see uh, if we can get both of them as guests and get them to stab at each other a little bit. But we'll, we'll call them. Maybe we'll call Phil a little bit later. We'll call Phil a little later. Yeah, that'd be good. Well, Ruck jams to a little bit of Grateful Dead. Show. Well, Ruck jams to a little Grateful Dead. I'd like to talk to the Handsome Brothers. Let's talk a little bit about the Mule Tales. Mule, <laughs> mule Tales. <laughs> What's a Mule Tale? Is that a wake skate? I'll let Reed. It's actually a... Uh, a hunting show that we're starting. Really? Yeah, we got to keep it on the down low. It's you know not until 2011s. Oh wow, you guys got a lot of planning time. Yeah, 
Okay. And filming the show. Okay. Uh, I don't know. He might he, he might be on right now. His phone doesn't work. Hey, so let's get some questions out there in the internet land for the Hanson brothers. Trevor, um, any new CWV videos coming out? Yeah, actually, we got a bunch of new CWB TV stuff coming out. Uh, it's gonna be really funny. I I actually really enjoy the CWB TV stuff. Like to see like how that company has changed and and the funniness. That's a word, if I may use, uh, funny stuff. Really enjoy. So, it. Trev, we hear that Clay Fletcher has now uh, joined the CWB Colin? team. Yeah. Yeah, Clay. Clay has. Yeah, we're excited. Clay, Clay Fletcher. On Clay, Clay Fletcher on C Dub. Man, that guy's a great guy. And we're really sad that he's off running. And that's a sa- we'll have a sad moment with you. That's too bad. That's a bummer. Trevor, awesome. Yeah, we're Great. excited. Bummer. Sorry we stole him. Yeah. Okay. Camera three. Camera the that one camera is now officially dead. So hey, now But that was a bonus camera. That was high that was high tech, man. Call now out of Dano, would that be out of three thirds? Now there's only two thirds chance that Harrington can get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Something tells me this guy should be on the ball. Hey, what you can do? Hey, just keep the, the just keep this one wide on us, and then Colin keep that one on Rook. I'm fine. I don't need I don't need my own camera. I don't I don't need that. But what about Rook? Okay, right on. <laughs> right on. Okay, C W B T V. Um, top two episodes for me, um, uh, uh, steering wheel riding. That one's really funny. That was funny. And, um, either the boxing gloves or the mini handle seven. Yeah, those were both really fun. The, the, the best thing about CWB TV is that's a blast of film. As yeah. you guys know, like, getting together with the team, like, you guys did rewritten and mm-hmm. got together with the team and stuff, that's a lot of fun. For and sure. You can get the whole team together. For sure. Especially when you don't have to do anything productive. Right. That's, what, that's what we do. As basically. far as we're concerned, but other people, it's very productive. Right. And what channel is that on? Uh, what? Uh, CWB.com. RiseTWB.com. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, click on the link. There's a CWB TV. That website, kind of stuff is fun. And getting like getting together with teams. Nautique uh, Riders, we've been trying to get together a little bit more, do some podcasts and stuff. So keep your eyes on Nautiques.com. Uh, Jimmy, who's in the studio audience. Jimmy, say hi real loud. Jimmy and I, uh, Danny, Watson, uh, the gang there, um, getting together to, uh, to, to have some good times. You Bob guys, Sovin. You guys got Bob Sovin. He's Bob pretty almost funny. died at the last Team Nautique get-together. Hey, like, you told no me. joke. That's awesome. Yeah. Out the front over the can- the, uh, the tube and got wrapped up so much that the, the, tow- the tow rope on the tube split the tip of his board in half. No joke. That's insane. That's real. That happened. Yeah, like seriously, it was gnarly. Like, and I was on the tube, and it was this big. We were doing a high jump contest. Yeah, that's bad news. Went south. High jumps, high jumps are dangerous. Well, it, we were. It wasn't that bad how we were doing it, right? It wasn't bad. But I, I thought about it, Jimmy. The way we we're doing it with the tube in the back, we were getting just sprayed so much. Like with the, with the water, it should be in the front, for sure. Any hoosers? Okay. The good news is that the new CWB team episodes that we're coming out with are way better. Really? The They're gonna be really fun. Can we hear about content or no? We've got new products, new, pretty much industry-changing products. Okay. That we'll be releasing sometime okay. soon. Okay. So you're gonna okay. want to stay tuned in for that. Okay. Reed, I, w- I want to, I want to talk to you. Um, wake skaters for Ronix are me. That's my point. He's that good. See what I'm saying? Some writer, some companies need like a lot of people to fill the shoes. He's like, I'll do it all. Check it out. You got a big Is this shoe. a questionnaire or a flattery? <laughs> what? A question? Is that a question? I mean, you're short. It was short ended. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when you go on the Ronix team trip, things that you enjoy doing and people you enjoy hanging out with? Everybody. And, you know, when you're on a trip. A lot of downtime, so you know, hacky sack, mm. maybe a soccer yeah, ball. Yeah, yeah. I, love hack. I hear you've been playing banjo. Yep, play the banjo. Nice. You re- learned the forward roll and the backward roll. Yep. 
Chord good. roll, verse roll, you know? Nice. My uh, my mom got a banjo for her birthday. I'm not kidding. Really? Yeah, she wanted to learn it. So we got one. I actually traded Trevor's old ba- bass guitar for a banjo. Okay, tell us the funny story about the banjo. Like, that's it. It's not really a funny story. I came into the house, and I was like, hey, sweet banjo, where'd you get that? And he's like, oh, I traded your guitar for it. And so I asked <laughs> if it was my banjo then, and he told me it wasn't. Pretty good trade. Where did the banjo come from? Uh, Craigslist. Craigslist, yeah. yeah. That was a pretty good, pretty good trade. Beginner bass guitar he, for he a banjo. He took my bass guitar and kind put it up for trade on Craigslist for a banjo. banjo? What kind of bass was it? Bass. Hey, so Fender, if anyone out there wants, beginner. I've got a uh, 99 ah, Corvette. Nice. It's black. It's up for trade for pretty much anything on Craigslist. Well, he does, and I'm trading it for anything. I've got some <laughs> Starburst in the car. Good one. <laughs> Good one. Dano, talk to me from the internet. All right, here we go. This one's for Sean and Reed. When are you all, both of you guys with your uh, Fox crew, and Jimmy, I guess, because he's in the house, heading back up to Anderson. Ooh, Anderson Hill. That's uh, the lake up near near oh, San no. Jose. Oh, yeah, I remember yeah, that. Yeah, you know, I don't know when the next trip is planned. Remember when you left the whole team and just went and did, like, a, like eight double sets with... Yeah, with the, with the gang and the ski yeah. sanger? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we were, doing a, we were doing a Fox photo shoot, and uh, everybody was doing, uh, doing their thing, pictures rolling, everything, and... Uh, I saw the ski sang with some guys kicking it, some friends. So I went and rode doubles with them for a while. It was, it was good. It was pretty cool. Yeah. We you get you get behind those boats, you go, wow, you guys ride these wakes that are like a foot high. We are so spoiled. Right? Yeah. It's fun. It's fun. That was a good time. Can we get uh, serious for a sec? Yes. Kyle Eid. Yeah, wow. Skifly.com. Wow. That, uh, we've got a serious issue in the house, and... Uh, I'm pretty sure everybody in here knows. I want everybody out there in the internet land to know as well. We have a friend of ours, Kyle Ede, known as Kiwi. Uh, he is the uh, one of the top ski flyers. That's the guys who go off the jump on their big giant skis, and uh, they go amazingly far. And Kyle had a, a really bad crash just a little while ago, and he broke. C4 and C5, I believe. C5 and C6. I think it's 4 and 5. But okay. And uh, and he is currently in New Zealand. He was um, doing a clinic. Uh, his family was an hour away. They happened to come. They actually live in Claremont here. They have two young kids. And they took a trip there. His, his wife went along because Kyle's family lives in New Zealand. They were an hour away. Kyle went and flew there. And got injured, had a, had a bad fall, uh, was paralyzed, and is now um, staring at the ceiling. And he is in, uh, in a pretty, um, got to be in a tough place. Um, he had his family flown, uh, the, the family flew over, they're now staying in a hotel with their kids. Kyle is staring at the ceiling for six weeks, he cannot move. Um, and he's going to be over in New Zealand for, I believe, at least six months. And so right now, if you guys want to help out, we're all trying to kick in. Um, because his kids are over there. They've got no toys, no nothing. Their house is here. Um, the, uh, the, the skiing industry isn't a huge moneymaker. And so now he is um, in a pretty tough place. So if you go to skifly.com, and it'll show you how you can give. Um, I don't know if Scott Ellis has checked in. Hope, hope you're out there, Scott. Chris Bischoff. Chris and Ronnie Bischoff have, have been a big part of this whole thing. Um, and I don't know if there's something else you guys wanted to say. No, just please go on there and donate something. They got You can pay with PayPal right there on the website or send a check. They've got an address and stuff like that to send something to. and They need the help. So Yeah, so I, it's... It's been on my mind a lot lately. I got my car today and I was just driving. The fact that I can drive and, and, and it's, you know, we're blessed with so many things. And so if we can just go in and uh, help others out when they're in need, and this guy's in need right now. So, um, gosh, it's a pretty serious thing. And, uh, and all of us can be in that position at any moment. So I, I just pray that we don't. But when one of us is there, we, we pray that we all kind of rally together around him with prayers, with finances if you can. So do what you can, guys. Thanks for any support you guys give. 
So wow, what a, a tough situation he's faced with, and I hope we don't ever have to be there. Um, but you know, we want to be there for him when we can. And Rex, thanks for the uh, appropriate music. You know, Rex always plays the appropriate tune. Yeah, so we got a lot of things going on, man. We got the Haiti thing going on this weekend. Um, you know, and we are like we are something like in the top one percent of the world of as far as finances. Just the entire country of the United States. It's pretty amazing like where we live and the time that we live in and what we're given. So we want to be appreciative of that. Pretty blessed. Dano, anything coming up for the internet? Yeah, we um, had a couple people a bit ago talking about, I, I know he's not here, but just something goofy. I don't know if we know anything about this, but we got to, we're, you know, Stoke Meter's helping us out. We're helping them out. I guess on a Stoke Meter show, uh, Bob Sovin ate uh, some s something like a cup of cinnamon or something. Mm. I don't know if Ruck has any cinnamon a spoon, here. A spoonful of cinnamon. I've seen cinnamon one person do it. But I've seen people one are do asking it. if maybe one of the uh, Hanson brothers could do the Have you done it? I've tried it, but I just never seen it. I think Trevor wants to try it. Ruck, do you it's even just have a cinnamon here? Of cinnamon, like yeah, I, I mean got cinnamon. I mean, there's obviously something real bad that's going to happen when the cinnamon gets in my mouth because it doesn't sound bad, but it's... No, it's just like, it's like, it's like, so just so dry and... I like bread. Like the crackers, like eating the saltine crackers. Right. Okay, yeah. Right. Okay. You know that a cinnamon is super healthy for, uh, for the male. For males. <laughs> <laughs> In that case, a spoonful of cinnamon for everybody. <laughs> right? Hey, speak, speaking uh, of healthy males, Trevor has a baby on the way. I do. <laughs> it's a girl, though. I know, but you're the healthy male is what uh, I'm that's saying. That's right. <laughs> right? My wife is due literally any moment. She's due March 7th with our second girl. And Congrats, Trev. It's awesome. And, uh, sh and, and <laughs> it was out of, out of time, but it was cool. Um, he's in internet land. So she's, she's two and a half weeks. Uh, Hayden, our last child, was born two and a half weeks early, and that was yesterday as far as early goes. When is uh, Kaylee due? Well, I actually can't say. It's in April because I just did a contest on my website. TrevorHanson.com, where people have to guess what or predict what date the baby's going to be born, and then kind of whoever gets it right. I saw on we're Facebook doing, how to win a board, yeah, so you yeah, go to TrevorHanson.com. Let's yeah, talk board, about TrevorHanson.com. Yeah, board and boots. That's awesome. You yeah. have to guess the time. No, you just have to guess the date, and then if a bunch of people get it right, then we'll I'll just pick a random winner. Whoever, we'll, someone's getting a board and boots. So it'll be pretty cool. And we might have some other prizes too. We might have some handles and ropes and maybe a couple other things to give away as well. Right on. I'm going to guess. You should throw out a guess. I'm going to win a board. Yep. Right on. Cool. All right, TrevorHanson.com, place you got some things going on? Yeah, a couple things. Like we haven't had a whole lot going on right now because of the weather, but uh, the plan is to uh, do some filming and get some little video blog, kind of like what Chad and everybody else in the wakeboard industry is doing right now. Blogs are popular. Big time. Yep. Big time. I got one. Yes. Uh, Reed Hansen from out there in internet land wants to know, somebody out there wants to know from Reed, new tricks that he's working on, something special that he's going to drop coming into this season that we've and never seen before. Go Reed. And do a little. Go Reed. I was going to start wakeboarding again. And you're going to start wakeboarding again? For real? I'm still. Oh, okay. What are the, some of the tricks? Are you being secretive about tricks? It's cool if you are, because that's awesome. Yes, I am being secretive. I don't yes. Know. I knew it. Did you do a flip? Double finger flip? Three flips. Three flips? Three kick flips in one trick. A Ball triple flip? Okay. Wow. I can't tell you. You heard it here on the Mer Show. Reed Hansen doing flips on the wake skate. Christ air. <laughs> I need to build a half pipe. Hey, tell, me, tell me, is a flip on a wake skate uncool? Yes. Because. No. That's what I say. No. That's what okay. I say. Cool. Okay. 
Okay. I'm claiming to be cool. Okay, listen. That's what I'm listen. saying. Colin, That's Colin, Colin, Colin says they're mad because they can't do it. Colin's him. a really good wake skater. I've seen him wake skate. Colin is I want to know skater. why he hasn't done a flip if they're so cool. Because they're hard. What's the challenge? You get, what do you get? awesomeness. That's what you get. You get the yeah. title of first guy to do a flip. I mean, Tell if it was like, if it was for hundreds of thousand dollars, maybe. Oh, but so now now you'll sell out to be on. Rock, it's all about yeah, the Benjamin. Yeah, me too. Me totally, <laughs> me too. <laughs> Buh. Yeah. I do I do uncool stuff all the time. But tell me, like why and I don't wanna I don't wanna drill this one, but why is it uncool to do it on uh See that's on the thing. Wake it's not uncool, I'm just not cool enough to make it cool. Mm, false. Like if parks uh tantrum on a wake skate or back roll or whatever, right. it would be cool. Can right. I ask you, what if you just used the trick not necessarily as something to score points in a contest, but Maybe after you won the contest, the fans are going wild. You come through, bam! There it is, an indie roll. And the Chris crowd Bishop goes wild. said you're a dork, and I—that's not nice, Chris. I mean, it's—it's it's not true. Negative. It's not true. I think he's wanted to see if I'd say it. I, think, I said it. I think that you're, you're not a dork. <laughs> <laughs> hey, here's what I'm saying. Expression session. Flip. That's what Dana was saying. That's what I'm saying. Is that you know you don't need to do. It's like when that there's a wake skater. Barracuda. There's that wake skater John Ruark. I don't know if you guys know him, but he does right. a trick at the cable called the Delivery Boy. Dig okay, it. Here, wait. I dig it. Here's my thing. Yeah. There's. I could probably sit here and name a thousand other tricks that I want to do that are cooler than a flip. So False. After I get through those tricks, then okay, I'll do the flip. Okay, a thousand? I don't think so. I think you're exaggerating. A thousand? Yeah. A thousand tricks, go. <laughs> Give me five. Okay, uh, 360 heel flip. That'd be tight. Laser flip. What is you you're going and going, do 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 do. I'm just going to start naming. I don't, what's a laser flip? I'm going to start naming heel flip tricks that I want to try. What's a laser flip? do. It's a laser, laser flip, flip, yeah. Is a front side 360 shove it with a heel flip. Okay. Oh my. Pressure, what? <laughs> what about a nollie kick flip? Uh, right. Okay. You don't have a thousand of them, right? I could so there's a thousand. There's a thousand. Yes. What about a back flip? Good one, Trevor. <laughs> what about a front flip? What about a, a flip? <laughs> Hey, so here's my thing. I think it could be done. I told Grub years ago, and I was like, do it like this. And I tried it. I was like, yeah, not happening. You tried But the, but the, tried. the designs on the wake skates are so different now. I figured you could go into a double up, nose grab, back roll kind of uh, like this, and do it. But I'm not saying it can't be done. I'm just saying there's other things that need to be done first. That's what I'm – not necessary. Ron, uh, uh, Sean, uh, it's Jay it's Swizzle like writes in. Anyway, we'll leave it alone. Write a wake we'll if you want to flip. Oh. That's okay. We'll leave it as that. We'll leave I it at that. You. I hear you. Hey, Tony Hawk. Oh, Jay Swizzle. Hey. My roommate. Right on. Hey, a lot of the skateboarders have done flips. Okay, Bob Burnquist on the on the huge mega ramp doing the backflip was awesome. Skater Die 2 going oh, off of the hip. That was Skater Die 2. Skater Die 2. On Nintendo going over the hip. The best. Doing a roll. I loved it. <laughs> but that was after he had done every single trick that he could do on the mega ramp. Skater Die 2 came out in like 1990. I don't think so. I don't think so. Good theory. Right. On Tony Hawk, do it, do it. once hey. you got to a certain level, you got special tricks from the and it was always some kind of a flip. That was a little loud. Right? right? See? Wasn't it? And Tony Hawk wouldn't approve that if he didn't think it was cool. No okay, doubt. anyways, next subject. Um, are any of you guys in the room competing at Feet on Fire this year? And I didn't just make this up. I would really like to. For some reason, something since the inception of Feet on Fire. You know Harrington's not invited. gonna. No, I've he's always not. Been I've always been invited, <laughs> and I've yet to be able to make it because of some reason or another. Hey, get this. I've invited the Hanson brothers probably out of the five years we've done it. Seven I've, out of the five years. At least three times, maybe four or five times. I've had yeses from both of them, and they've also told Yo, me that they were Slim training. Jimmy. Dan and o. they've never showed up at Dan a beat o. on fire. Let, let, me, let me take this one. Let me take this one. I'm going to listen. I've received, I've received personal phone calls from you, even. 
<laughs> to personal. invite me, not, not even an email or a text or anything, a personal phone call for an invite, which I very much appreciate. Every year, it has fallen on my dad's birthday. Time. You guys do it on my dad's birthday every year. It's at 9.59. Yeah, seriously. Is that, is that Wait, I want to come time? real bad. I was just no, going to say, I, I, I'm still training. I've seen you bear, but you're pretty darn good, yeah. buddy. Reed, Reed said he's not coming unless he's good Hey, Mary, I can plug in uh, another guitar, and we can maybe do this. I want to come real bad. We're Folks want Murdoch on the Leno show. Hey, guys, I hope to see you guys at Feet on Fire. Mur- I, really I, I hope that you can make it there. We, um... We uh, haven't even started working on Feet on Fire for this coming year. We normally don't start working on it till shortly before the event, so. Okay. Phil Sylvan call time. I need silence in the studio. All right. Hello, Philip Sylvan. I, uh, wait a minute. I didn't block my caller ID. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> he didn't pick it up. He saw it was me. Hey, right. Oh, I forgot to block it. <laughs> Lame. Hey, so what we're trying to do, we're trying to get Phil and Rusty on next week's show, so you guys make sure you tune in. We're going to wrap things up here in the next five minutes. Smart. Right, pineapple tree will eventually come out, and it's probably gonna come out soon. Cause mm-hmm. I, you it, know, I don't know how many. One day. I don't know how many Mer shows we've got under our belt, Rec. Okay, people, audience out there, you guys need to let us know if we need to keep the Mer show going. Okay, we need to know if we're making any kind of impact or if it matters at all. Keep it, yes. <laughs> I mean, I, I think we'll have yes. like a few, a few yeses out there, but definitely for sure, yes. Heck yeah. yes, yeah. I mean, obviously. Honestly, not, not worth it. Yeah. Yes. Who's that guy? Who wrote honestly Keep not worth going, it? Keep going. Love it. Yes. Yes, please. Yes, um, Hell's yes. Not Dano, worth it. Dano. Oops. Sorry. No, 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 no. No, you could say. No, I'm not saying it. It was just. Oh. It was, never mind. No, keep going. I was in the zone. See, no, I think you keep going. You keep going. <laughs> <laughs> never mind. <laughs> okay. Mer, I wasn't saying their hey, names. Mer's no, mind no, no, is in mind. the gutter. <laughs> <laughs> what now? <laughs> <laughs> Just Look at me now, I'm all blushing. I hey, know. listen, Murr, what I was thinking is after we're done here, after yeah. we go off the air, you, me, and Ruck do, we we record it. Ruck can, has the capabilities, it'll take I've 30 got, minutes. I've got a capability. To, well, no, then to I gotta totally it. reset stuff up. Okay, okay. anywho. Um, guys, quick questions. Wanna do some shout outs, handsome brothers? What? Shout outs, anything? Shout outs? I don't know. Reed, do you wanna shout out somebody? Anything you want to say, like, you'd be like, oh, I forgot to say, like, love you, babe, something like that. I don't have a girlfriend, but I love you, mom. That's a good one. I got a wife. I love you, babe. There you go. Is she watching? She probably is, yeah. Right on. She's at home. Hey, to my wife, she's probably not watching right now. She is. Is she? Right on. Carrie, love no you, babe. No faith in the wife. Love you, babe. <laughs> Carrie is awesome. And uh, I'll see you at home in a little while. Peace. Um, thanks for letting me play with my friends. And uh, cool. Guys night. Hey, yeah, right. 183 well, I mean, right viewers. Now. When you when you called How me many? to do stuff, I was like, I'm gonna have to run it by Marissa. Oh, totally. Hey, 183 yeah. totally. viewers, Mer. Hey, that's that's better. That's better. Like, what we're gonna do is we're really gonna we're really gonna try to. Uh, yeah, we. Our our records up. 185. In, like, like five or something, but we didn't pass the Jeff McKee thing. Thousands. Um, like he lucked out. 201. Well, you know what? Some I have to apologize. We don't do that good a job of advertising. We're going to try to do better. When you guys know that the show's coming on, blast it out to your friends, okay? Wait, there's one thing we need to do before the night is over. Oh, we'll do that. The dance. Dano because song. he doesn't always get to be around. I know, of course. We're going to do that for Dano. I'd like to personally thank Jimmy LaRich for hanging out as a live studio honest member, actually operating one of the cameras. 
Colin Harrington being the man behind the scenes. He is uh, really holding it down. We missed Aaron Perkins tonight, but Colin, you filled in wonderfully. Filled in wonderfully. Ooh. Dano, it is great having you back on the show. Great to be back when I fly back to uh, Chicago. Yeah, what brings you here right now? You know, I had to come into town and I had to tie up some loose ends. I had to get my car out of Jimmy's garage and... Uh, did Just you have to jimmy your car out of Jimmy's garage? I did. It was dead. Thankfully for did my good jimmy friends, rig it? Jimmy and Ruck. Yeah, we jimmy rigged it and made it work. And just, it's great to be back. Jimmy. <laughs> love it. Love it. Love it in O Town. The other bar. Oh, yeah. The other bar. Ryan Davis's place. Check yes. it out. We're going to be going there after this. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. Um, Jimmy's not. Um, Reed Hansen, great to have you here. Thanks. Great to have you here. I was going to give a shout out to Johnny Zentmeyer because he's posted like eight times more than anybody else. Do on it. On here. Do it. So Say that it was, now. It. No, Johnny like official. Shout out to Johnny Zentmeyer. Like with more gusto. Shout out to Johnny Zentmeyer. Yeah, with a, with a southern accent. Shout out to Johnny Zentmeyer. With, yeah, maybe like a, 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 a Australian. I got nothing. Nothing. Oi. 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 Let's Oi. get some brekkie. All right, Roy. <laughs> Roy. Some Becky. Hey. <laughs> Good to have you nonetheless. <laughs> Roy. Trevor Hansen. Great having you. I'm, I'm, still, I'm still stuck. Okay, Trevor. Great having you, man. This is great. Thanks, I feel like it's like a, a get together with old friends uh, from back in the past who have succeeded in the wakeboarding industry. It is awesome to have you guys here. Thanks, Sean. Thanks for having us out. Right on. Hey, let me see your ring. There it is, man. Kind of similar. It is a little bit. Is yours super lightweight? No, mine's not that super lightweight. Yes, Phil Sylvan, we're yeah. trying to call you. Whoa, do you Go. ride with it? No. I ride with mine. Never comes ride with it. It bothers me. Phil's on? Phil. Hey, Phil. Phil. Pick up your phone. We're going to do this officially quick, so I'm going to put you on the spot. Wait, did he, did he write the real Phil Sylvan? Because it might not be Phil. If that's not the real Phil Sylvan, you guys are lame. But if it is, I'm calling you. You only know if it's the real Phil Sylvan if they write the real Phil Sylvan. Oh. <laughs> Get the home. real Phil Sylvan. Speaking of writing real pro stuff, I like that Sean Perry started the, the real JD fan page. Lame. Okay. J JD started False. a fan page. Impersonator. You are fired. Thanks for screwing with us like that. You got me. You got me. <laughs> totally worked. <laughs> Touche. Buzzing. And you guys? Huh? Of course. Oh, okay. Do uh, do the do the merge jam. Yeah, do the merge jam. And uh, Ruck, they want you to go center stage and actually play a uh, jam. He's gonna do that. So Ruck is gonna jam right now, and then we're gonna do the closeout song. So we'll give him a two-minute jam.
right, that, folks, is why we bring Eric Ruck onto the Mer Show for his grooving style, for his funny humor, and also his hat. Now, Ruck, this is where we like to segue into the wrap-up. And you know the song that I'm talking about. He's still going. He's in the zone. We're going to let him hang there for a minute. But because of Dano the Mano being on the show, we have a good wrap up. Dan, do you have something to say? Um, I want to. I'm just gonna send this one out to Maurice. Maurice, uh, from the looks of things, we should give Ruck about a one hour show of him just jamming straight up. Yeah, for real. Like we just need to do that probably like every like Saturday nights at like at like I don't know. Ruck jams. Two thirty in the morning. Ruck right? comes on. Right? No, but I would night. actually like to do the 3.30 to the 5.30 segment. <laughs> <laughs> right on, right on. Well, Dano, if you can take us out of here, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sean Murray. Dano. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We want to thank you all for checking us out at stokemeter.com. Big shout out to Jimmy LaRich in the house and Colin Harrington working all the cameras. Eric Ruck on music, the Hanson Brothers. And, of course, your host, Mr. Sean Murray. Until next time, enjoy the tunes.